I was just wondering if anything mediumship, ancestral, even childhood healing comes through in the viewers, me, anything comes through for you at all. Okay, let's see. Oh, I love these kinds of questions. Let me tap in for a moment here. Let's see what's on the menu for the viewers, for the listeners, and for Carl. One moment. So surprise, surprise, this is, there's an expansion of your throat chakra happening as well as your heart. So I'd imagine your viewers are going through very similar things. With the heart expansion, and I think this goes back to what I was tapping into earlier about the fae fairy vibe and not being so crazy around people. It's, a, it's an old heart wall and it feels like an ancient heart wall. And it feels like something that was put up, placed up from what's very interesting is like I'm seeing like an old ancient war. I don't know much about like the spiritual history behind the phase and the humans and any other beings, but it feels like there was some traumatic event there that your frequency is still holding on to and very much still resentful about. It's very unconscious. It's very deep. It's very ancient. That's what I will say. It's like from eons ago. And as this is cleared out, I think you're really going to see a shift in who you're able to reach within your audience. I think you're going to see a huge shift in the podcast. And I think the viewers will see their ability to shift in speaking about the non-physical and the spiritual aspects of life with more and more ease. So it's like the more and more heart walls that we knock down with within our own genetic code and with our own soul memory, the easier it becomes for other people to hear what we have to say. Because a lot of people, when they start diving into spiritual work and psychic mediumship stuff, there's like this expectation of them wanting their family to come along the journey. And you have to understand that's not necessarily part of the process. They get to watch and learn, but you're often going to be the the spearhead of this process. So you have to become willing to step out into the unknown and feel lost and feel uncomfortable and feel triggered a bit and let people push your buttons where they might talk down to you about what you're doing. But you just got to do it anyways. And we're part of those who are here to help make the spiritual much more mundane. I want to say like for the everyday Joe. It's like, that's why we do this so that everyone realizes, oh, wait, I don't have to be all woo woo to connect to spirit and to heal and to have my own breakthroughs and to explore spiritual tools. This is for everybody. This is not a closed clicky community. Okay. This is like, we want everybody in on healing. And with that comes the expansion of letting your voice be heard, healing the heart wall. So I'd invite you into meditations with your guides where you're asking them to show you this old trauma, this old fae human and maybe other races. I keep seeing other races. I don't know who they are because I'm. it's like very vague. I think it's for you to figure out, Kara. They want you to go there and dislodge that pattern. And it's you got to heal. You got to see it from the oversoul's perspective because right now you're, you see it from a high perspective, but it's like even a higher perspective. It's almost like the intersection of humanity and Fae, like where that happened and where it broke off and healing that part of humanity. And this is beautiful because it's going to open up portals for humanity to connect with nature again. Like you're a nature goddess. You're so earthy. I would say you're definitely here to help people reconnect to that natural side of ourselves. It's primal. It's beautiful. It's theoric. And it's so, what's the word? I'm just seeing like ethereal sparkles. It's so non-physical, but physical and nature-based that it's just this beautiful balance and alignment that you're here to help humanity connect back to. I also wouldn't be surprised if you're doing nature retreats in the future as well, where you're taking people to reconnect with nature and the spirits of nature and connecting them with their specific, I don't know, it could be a flower, a tree, an animal, and you really helping them embody that energy. So that's what spirit wants you to do with the work as you like keep moving forward. You don't have to think that by bridging the nature and human side of you that you're going to lose the nature. No, you're going to amplify by crossing and interweaving both. You're going to see just how far you can take it and just how far the nature work really goes because it, it's here to actually assist humanity in growing too. We're just not aware of that level of the work and you are and you're supposed to usher that in for all of us. Wow. Thank you so much. I like literally felt like an air connection from my heart to my throat. And it was like this big bubble in the middle of that. So I appreciate that. And yeah. my throat comes up in almost every reading. And like, I know that there's, it's like, I have a podcast. Why is it yeah. having this block? But it's finding these little intricate things to help break that connection. So I appreciate you so much. Welcome to Float Activity, the channel that guides you on a transformative journey towards spiritual wisdom, self-development, and healing practices, all aimed at elevating your intuition and aligning you with your soul's purpose. I'm your host, Kara Dempsey, and I'm thrilled to have you joining me as we learn together. Please subscribe and share this with a friend to help grow my channel. I appreciate you, and we'll chat soon.